uh, at go quick look at conversion very closely and i think we realize that trust is an important factor in direct to consumer which brings me to you know revan who runs a health and wellness startup where trust is you know a very very important thing how do you sell health and wellness stuff and build trust online so revan would love to know from you that how have you gone about it in creating this playbook which is a very difficult one you know and especially you know i view that india is a low trust society it doesn't come naturally by default to us how do you go on about solving it yeah, yeah no thanks chirag for reminding me the uh, stupid challenge we have taken of playing in a small market where trust is an issue where the country doesn't really value uh, either uh, convenience or uh, uh, you know effectiveness as such but i think uh, you know interesting that you mentioned about the change in uh, d2c as a space uh, luckily for us you know uh, we had no other option considering we are a doctor led uh, platform where we offer uh, health and wellness awareness uh, a community for people to come and express uh any sort of concerns that they have about their health uh offer primary care consultations and obviously products and services as well right on top of that uh and therefore the biggest question that we had got actually was what is so bad in a visiting a doctor offline and really getting uh, uh you know things sorted if you have it and at least for us more than online versus offline it was the fact that there was enough friction and lack of trust within the entire healthcare ecosystem itself right so the starting point itself was that either there was too much taboo about a particular topic or there was too much distrust about how much is going to cost or the entire friction of meeting a doctor or waiting for their time and you know maybe shelling out a lot more money for all of those was 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 the biggest insight for us to say that there should be a now uh, a digital health clinic for every consumer segment right where they can really be themselves uh, express their deepest anxieties and at least not have a worry in the world of the fact that would this ever get solved right so i think uh, just going about building that has helped us get some trust right it is it operationally complex to have 140 full time uh medical experts who are doing about 3000 3500 now consultations live every day yes it is but in the end uh, that is the aspect that we know will build a lot more trust and keep the platform uh very useful for the consumer segment right so um i think we have seen what swiggy has done to food delivery what urban companies done for salon uh, and you know a bunch of these startups have done so well in terms of democratizing and friction lack of convenience offline experience into a great online experience and i think our attempt to do that in healthcare is at least has got up to a decent start uh there are enough challenges i can tell you that out of the 3 and a half thousand consultations that we do the nps is now getting a little screwed because uh things break right i mean it's just and it's quite annoying when you really have a health concern and your consultation doesn't happen on time or it's not the best consultation that you expected so uh every quarter we have a new set of challenges and as a services business i think i think india is hard on product i think it's harder on services um so uh, as i said thanks for reminding me of the challenge that we have taken up but it's very fulfilling to really at the end of the day see the customer feedback on how we have helped them right and i think i think when you help someone get better even if they are not better at least if they get less anxious mentally i think it's just a phenomenal feeling that you get at the end of the day that you at least impacted the customer in a decent way